Hi everybody, it is it's me, Bonkai922. It's time for Race Tonight. I'm the Blade Works. Um, episode... What, it's five? Can't even tell. Well, actually six for me, because I... You know. But yeah, this is basically, um... Dancing at the school. <laughs> Let me just say it right now. I am loving Rin's expressions. Tell us about it. <laughs> she makes the most ridiculous, funniest expressions in this series. I don't know if it's the animation. It might be the animation. That that might be why they make she makes these ridiculous expressions to Shiro and uh, you know so on and so forth. But it is just so goddamn funny what she says. She looks like she's like she made an expression like the beginning of the beginning of the episode where it's like, "What the fuck are you doing? Like you didn't do anything. You just came to school. Like I could kill you." <laughs> I thought that funny as fuck. But anyway, pretty much in this episode, um, it was very good actually. I noticed like. For some reason, I don't know, I thought, um, it was the same scene. I remember this scene, um, from the movie. Well, the Rin scene, when Rin fights Shiro, which was freaking amazing. <laughs> like, the animation was fucking amazing in that. I was like, yo. It was so fast-paced and action-packed. If you blunt blinked once, you would miss it. You would fucking miss it, and I didn't miss it, so I'm, I'm glad on that. But an awesome se sequence, fighting with Rin, that was awesome. Um, for some reason, I don't, maybe it's because, because the servant, um, that comes to attack them, because basically, you know, they're fighting, and then they hear a scream, and they close the fight, and Rin almost gets her head shish kebobbed with this spear coming out of it, this thing coming out of nowhere. Pretty much anyone who's read Fate Stay Night knows who this servant is. I'm not going to say it because the enemy only watches are probably not going to know who they are. But this person comes, this servant comes and attacks, uh, ends up attacking um, Emiya, Shiro, and he ends up fighting her. Um, for some reason, because I saw the movie... Of Unbelievable Bravers, I felt that that was longer in the movie, but I could be wrong. Um, here was pretty short this this fight sequence, but it was pretty interesting. I thought the Rin fight when Shiro was fighting Rin was a lot more um, intense, somewhat than this fight. Probably because it was different, but and he fights his servant, and obviously Rin has to help Shiro. Because he got by her dagger thing that was has a chain. Um, but he was able to get out of that, and he she wrenches his thing up, and the rest of the episode. I thought the the first half was pretty fucking amazing. So from the first half, like four out of five overall, four out of five. Then the second half, he pretty much it's just a conversation that Shiro has with Rin, and apparently. They're now going to have to take care of this other master, who I pretty much know who it is, because I saw the movie on the Blade Works, and I know who it is, but, um, there's that whole conversation, a conversation about his father and mages, and, and Rin's really upset, because, uh, he ended up telling her his magic, <laughs> where it's like, she's like, no mage does that. Like, no mage does that. And, and she got pissed off about it. And basically saying that her, her his father put being a father first and being a mage second when it concerned to Shiro. And she thinks that's bullshit. But overall, good episode. Four out of five. I mean, the beginning was really solid. When they were... I was like, yo, fucking rid... She's like, gung ho, I'm gonna kill you. I'm like, god damn. Fucking Shiro's such a spaz, though. Like, I mean, he was. He put. He. 
you know, he was able to do a few things. Like, he reinforced the desk as a shield. He created this weapon that he was going to fight her with. So, he was prepared. He was kind of in it, but still, I mean, <laughs> come on. Um, but that fight was pretty awesome, to a certain extent. It was fast-paced, action-packed. I, re I really enjoyed it, to a certain extent. Um, but next week should be very interesting, because the temple was mentioned. So it's that temple. And the temple... It houses... Don't want to spoil too much, but it houses a few spirits. And we're going to get into that, and the master, obviously, for the spirit that attacks the, the, the servant. I said spirits and servants. Um, the servant that attacked Shiro, his, that master. And it's going to go along those lines. But, like this episode, four out of five, I just... I'm, I'm boggled by what Fatoba's doing with Rin's expressions. Like, her expressions... Usually, she makes those expressions to Shiro when he does something really fucking stupid. <laughs> or he does something so... And she's like... Even, like, later on, when, like, they're, they're helping this girl, and then out of nowhere, something comes out. He's like, Toh's like... And he gets bloody and shit. He's like... She's like, your arm, that was so funny. And even the beginning, like I said, with her at four minutes. Like, she looks at him like he's got five heads on his shoulders. I'm like, god damn. That was priceless. I, I need to find that thumbnail. If there's a thumbnail on that. I need to use that for thumbnail. It's just so fucking priceless. But yeah. Bonka and I, 22. Four out of five for this one. Fate Stay Night. Uh, yeah. See, the episodes are, weird, are, are numbered differently than what I'm going by. Because I numbered the very first episode as episode 1, which is episode 0. So this is episode 5, which is, for me, episode 6. I do it that way. I like doing it that way. But yeah, that's the story. Bonkai Night 22. See you guys later. Rin, her expressions are fucking amazing. So I don't know who I like more now. I, I'm not trying to cheat on Saber. I still love Saber. But Rin's got... she got this special quality to her. In certain scenes. And in, in, in this... In this specific series. Uh, especially when, you, you know, you do... You have Fut Futoba doing it. The animation and everything. It makes it even more crazy. So, I really dig Rin. She's awesome. I'll see you guys later.